shotgun while you get your bearings. Crew got some pretty high standards, what with lives being on the line and all, so I gotta make sure you know what's up before we get into the real shit. So first off, that gadget you're lugging around on your back is a real-life, honest-to-God jetpack. Hold down on jump to start it up. It consumes fuel pretty quickly, so be careful. Meter's over there on your right. Keep an eye on it. It'll get you up rocks, over gaps, and keeps you from getting hurt when you take a fall. You can also use your pack to give you one short but powerful burst. It comes in real handy when you gotta dodge. Try it when you're moving in a different direction. Like, uh... Imagine a giant monster just threw a 500-pound boulder at you and you want to get out of the way with the quickness. Your jetpack can also assist you in a climb, which doesn't use fuel since you're doing a lot of the work yourself. Go find a wall you want to climb and hold jump while you're facing it and push forwards against the wall. Let's talk about the gun in your primary weapon slot. That's your assault rifle. We're gonna use it to take down some mammoth birds. Pretty standard stuff. Hold down the trigger for full auto fire, stops fire when you release. Next up, let's take out your lightning gun. Check that crazy thing out. That thing will put out enough juice to power a small ship. The beam locks onto your target and you hold it on there until your target dies. Now, you can only zap shit so long before you find something big enough that it just gets pissed off. Lucky for you, you've got a gadget that activates a defense matrix around your armor. Once the force of, well, damn near anything. Pop that when you're in trouble and get shot from the good like a mosquito bite. What's old Hank doing on his ass? Let's go pick him up, get him to start pulling his weight around here. Hold down on the use button while you're standing over him. It'll take a bit, but he'll shake it off and be on his feet in no time. Just make sure to waste any of these reavers to get close beforehand. They'll sneak up and swat you. That interrupts the whole process. Gotta start over. Okay, last bit of gear. You've got arc mines. It'll take a couple seconds to arm after you lay them out, but once they do, any critter stepping on him gets lit up something fierce. That's using the bag as a tyrant. That big guy over in the water there. Throw down some mines right here in front of the water. Appreciate the trick. Back way the hell up. You're gonna shoot the tyrant with your assault rifle. Just make him mad enough to charge you. He's as dumb as I think he is. He's gonna trample right over those mines. Oh, there you go. See, that tyrant was an elite. You kill one of those, you can get a buff off the corpse. Go up and push use to get something good. Okay, I think it's time to go and meet the rest of the crew. They're coming in on the dropship over there on the beach. You can see where they're coming in by that waypoint. Just head in that direction. Bunch of fancy gadgets to help find the monster, but as you can see, good old tracks are still the most reliable way. All monsters leave them. Kinda hard to be that big and manage to leave no trace. Follow those and eventually, you find your monster. Focus on hurting. Remember to use your jetpack to dodge incoming attacks. And you can pop your defense matrix to mitigate damage. Trap that ugly sumbitch in the dome. Only way he's gonna hold still long enough for us to waste them.
Look at you, Stone Cold Master Slaying Machine!